This is a GCS News Break. Guitar in hand, Senior Chris Sue is able to fly to the moon from the safety of his home. Like all Penn Griffin School for the Arts students, he had to make the switch to online learning when schools closed in March. It wasn't difficult, actually. It's been pretty easy. We use Skype to do um, guitar lessons for about 30 minutes weekly. It's not bad in the fact that it's, it is kind of convenient. It's just worse because, you know, you would rather be like in person with the, all your classmates and your teacher. Start the melody again, because this happens so many times in the song that there's a couple things I want to tweak so we get it right every time. Guitar and harp so teacher just... Mike Connors now teaches his middle and high school students either through recorded video lessons on Canvas or face to face with Skype. He has 21 high school guitar students, all of whom have an instrument at home. The live lessons are literally just like being in a guitar lesson like this. And the student is there with their guitar. I'm here with my guitar. They, they play for me. I play back. I give them tips. I coach them. And we have lessons just like they would be one-on-one -on -one in person. It's really a, it's amazing to be able to do this with the technology. We can still uh, move forward with our music lessons. Senior Amira Irby Shabazz has been taking guitar since sixth grade. She says the online lessons actually have some advantages. It's good to, because our class was really big, so it was hard to ask him questions, especially if we're working on ensemble pieces. But like, I can ask him, hey, how do I improvise? How do I play blues? How do I play jazz? Instead of just having to focus on just classical music. Even though I still play my classical music, I still know my classical songs. But it's good to have a teacher one-on-one -on -one because then you get to know what you want to know. Connor's seven high school harp students were fortunate to be able to take home a harpsicle or small size harp back in March. For harp, I've been doing uh, individual lessons with Mr. Connors where he'll teach us a song and then we'll play it back to him. And like he'll teach us parts of the song and then until we learn the whole thing. It's a different experience and I feel like it's going to help all of us when we go back to school with developing like skills like time management because now it's kind of all on our own. Connor says in times like these, music is more important than ever for students. And he says the entire community can also play a role in helping them. Support live music, support your kids, ask them to play for you. If you know anyone who plays an instrument and you're using Facebook or you're using Skype or you're using any of these platforms, ask them to grab their instrument and play for you. So ask them what they've been doing. Um, if you play an instrument, share it with people. Uh, this, this, is, this is what's gonna get us through this. This has been a GCS News Break.